Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a nice equation with complex numbers. You'll hopefully understand why I call this nice because it has a very nice solution. Can you guess what it is? Make a guess and take notes because we're going to go ahead and check your work. So whenever you get a problem like this, you can make a couple different things. One, you can cross multiply and try to turn it into a more maybe linear or some type of polynomial equation where you can easily manipulate. Two, you can replace Z with A plus BI, which is also the name of this channel. This channel is about complex numbers. I have another channel called CyberMath, which is about algebra mainly and number theory, tiny bit of geometry and almost uh, just uh, some calculus and almost no counting, okay? So that's CyberMath, Cyber with an S. Go ahead and check it out. Now let's see how we can solve this problem in different ways. Let's start with the more complicated one, replacing Z with A plus BI. By the way, you can combine these methods. For example, you can cross multiply and then replace Z with A plus BI. That's also quite possible. You wanna do that? Let's do it. So let's go ahead and cross multiply these two things. And then we might get something useful from here, who knows? That's gonna be Z bar times Z minus Z bar. Hopefully you know that Z times Z bar is a special scenario where we get a real answer. This is actually the absolute value of Z squared because if you think about it, if Z is equal to A plus BI, Z bar is the complex conjugate, which is A minus BI, and absolute value of Z is the square root of A squared plus B squared, which is the square root of the product of these two things from difference, I mean, sum of two squares. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos and ask questions. That's the best way to learn new stuff. Okay, cool. Where do we go from here? Um, absolute value is probably not gonna help us, but think about it. If I replace that, it's gonna look like a really cool equation, don't you think? We have i in the equation, we have z, we have z bar and the absolute value. What else can you ask for, right? It's a beautiful equation that combines a lot of different elements, but that's not super helpful. It just looks good, that's it, right? So now what do, you, what do we do next? We replace z with a plus bi, hoping that it's gonna help us solve the problem. And again, this form doesn't really matter. You can use this one or that one, doesn't really matter because it's gonna give you the exact same thing, okay? Cool, cool, let's do it. I times A plus B I equals the absolute value of Z squared is gonna be A squared plus B squared minus, let's use parentheses for the conjugate so we can negate it appropriately and I can kind of distribute this. One thing that you should ever never forget is I squared is negative one. I squared is actually defined to be negative one or I is defined to be the square root of negative one if, if you consider the square root, the principal square root, which sometimes people say that's not very accurate, but it should be. Great, so B I squared is gonna be minus B then, and this is gonna give us when expanded, A squared plus B squared minus A plus B I. Now we have the real parts and the imaginary parts, so we, can, we should kind of make a comparison, right? How do you make a comparison? This is gonna be the real part. Let me go ahead and separate it. Now we have this as the real part and that as the real part. So we kind of set those together, equal to each other, I mean. A squared plus B squared minus A equals negative B. From here you get A squared plus B squared equals A minus B, or you can put everything on the same side. This form might be a little helpful because of some identities in algebra, like, for example, you can square A minus B, that'll give you A squared plus B squared minus 2AB, which again, that might be helpful if I can find something like AB, but that's not always the case. Uh-oh. Now we do get another one from imaginary parts, B and A. So that means A is equal to B. That's actually super cool because we can kind of plug it in, right? How do we do that? Uh, let's use this one. A squared plus B squared is A minus B. Uh-oh. If A is B, then A minus B is zero. Too bad. And A and B are real. Don't forget that, right? Because when we define a complex number, 
we say, okay, Z is a complex number if it can be written as A plus BI, such that A, B are real numbers and I squared is negative one. That's the very definition. But again, if you're new to this, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. All right, so now we did get an equation that's pretty interesting. The sum of two squares is zero. If A and B are not real, then we have a different story, but A and B are real. So when can you get a zero from adding two squares? Think about it. If one of them is positive, the other one has to be negative, but no square can be negative. Therefore, they both have to be positive. No, then you, you can't get a zero, which means they both have to be zero. Great. So from here, we get A equals zero and B equals zero. Surprise. <laughs> okay. Does this count as a solution? Absolutely. So Z becomes zero plus zero I. In other words, Z is good old zero. <laughs> And if you check the original problem, what was the original problem? I forgot. Let's go back here and look at the original. iz over z minus 1. And of course, if you replace z with 0, 0 over negative 1 equals 0. Absolutely. And the conjugate of 0 or conjugate of 0, not conjugate, that's 2 conjugate. The conjugate of 0, the complex conjugate of 0 is 0 because it is 0 plus 0i. Zero if you take the conjugate, it's 0 minus 0i, they're both 0. So for us, so for Eldavar, so for that's how, how we say it in Turkish. Anyways, so now z equals 0 is the ultimate solution. Yeah, we got nothing, right? Well, 0 is very powerful. Think about multiplying a million by 0, you get 0. That's how powerful 0 is. It's actually more powerful, but anyways. So is that the only thing we can do? No, maybe we can find an alternative solution for this kind of problem. Is there, is there really an alternative way to do it? Probably, let's go ahead and give it a try. I can kind of cross multiply again, iz over z minus one, I gotta remember the equation, iz over z minus one, was it z bar? I think so, right? Try to memorize it, my own problem, right? Because I came up with the idea, oh, I forgot to say, this is a homemade problem designed by CyberMath, I mean A plus BI, same thing, right? Well, different channels, but same thing. So now, what do we do with this? Again, cross multiply. And then, hocus pocus, abracadabra. Here's what you can do. You can conjugate both sides, right? And that should give you a different equation, hopefully. Conjugate, conjugate, conjugate. Because if you conjugate a difference, it's the difference of conjugates. Am I making sense? Like, uh, the conjugate of z bar, z1 minus z2, is z1 bar minus z2 bar. You can kind of distribute it. Multiplication, division, addition, it always works. And if you bar Z twice, you get Z. It's kind of like, okay, turn your hand upside down and then turn it upside down again. So kind of like flip, 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 okay? Or flip, flop. <laughs> you get the same thing. So now this is going to be a product. So the conjugate or conjugate of I, I keep forgetting, negative I multiply by Z bar. This is going to be unchanged because it's a <laughs> product minus z. Good. How do I use this though? Hmm. Maybe I can do the following. Uh, consider this along with the first equation that we have, which is i z equals z z bar minus z bar, and then try to eliminate something from it. I don't know if it's going to work, but at least I tried, but I'm going to leave it as an exercise for you. See if you can eliminate one of these I'm kind of looking at some of the possibilities, but I want you to think about this because this is a good exercise for you, okay? Don't hate me for that because this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.